so the way that I've been using my iPad Pro has changed over the years. I've always had all of my apps organized in my home screen, but guess what? That has now changed because I have no apps on my home screen and it is the most useful thing that I've ever done to my iPad. Let me tell you why. All right, so there are so many ways that you can actually organize your home screen. There are so many people that just have them apps out there. There are some people that have them organized in folders, but little do they know that having this minimal home screen setup is the best option that you can have right now. And I mean that. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys do? Do you guys have those just, is it just a nightmare? Is your home screen just a nightmare? Or do you guys have them organized with that? Let me know, I'm honestly interested. But I think after this video, your opinion will change on the way that you organize your home screen setup. All right, so the process is very simple. Literally put all of your favorite apps on the dock. And once you've done that, you're gonna want to put the others in a folder or in two. I've got all of my favorite apps over here and then I've got two apps, which is, this is basically the media folder, which, you know, I've got the Apple TV app, kernel, YouTube, etc. And then I've got, you know, my basic graphic design, editing photos, pages, keynotes, basically like the creating folder. So the photo and video folder. So you can organize this in, in all bunch of different ways. Maybe you can only have one folder. It all depends on you. Now what this will allow you is to have all of your apps on your dock. Any app that you need will be right there when you swipe up your finger on the dock. This is very useful, for example, when you want to split your screen. Let's say you are in Safari and then you want to access your notes. Let's say you want to split your screen with your photos and then get some music. Let's say you want to open a random app. It will be right there for you always with just a single swipe of your dock. A problem that I had with my setup is, you know, I know where my favorite apps are, but sometimes an app that I don't use that often, I often had to look and search where they were. And a very simple solution is simply using Spotlight, simply swipe down with two fingers on your home screen or simply with one finger, you can simply do like that. As simple as that sounds, you've basically got the ideal setup then. Don't forget that with iPad OS, you now have widgets on your home screen. So for me, for example, I've got Things 3, which is I've got all of my to-do list right on my home screen. I've got the music app and I've got the files app. You might think that this isn't a very complex setup, but I've got everything that I need. It is a very functional setup. For example, I've got the files app as a widget, but I don't have it in an app. But why would I need the app if I've got the widget over here? And then if I need to remember something, I can simply, you know, without actually opening the app, I can, you know, create a new to-do list and I've got all of my to-do list over here. And when I've done that, you know, I can simply tap and tap it away. It is a very, very useful setup and I totally recommend it to all of you guys. If you guys end up doing this setup to your iPad, don't forget that you can actually upload it to your Instagram story, tag me and I'll repost you to my Instagram story or you can actually tweet me and I'll retweet it. Do that. It's useful and you won't regret it or do it and if you don't like it, you can switch it back again. It's good stuff. You're welcome. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say.